sponsored by PCBWay. You know, Robotic Hand, I feel like you really just get me. You really just know how to listen. I just wish you spoke back a little bit, though. Wait a second. Hello. Hello. Like any curious, perfectly sane homo sapien, I find myself wanting to speak to robots. Humans are just too confusing and they judge you. Robots don't do that, but they also don't have vocal cords or a brain either. So we've got to come up with some other system. This prototype's our starting point and it's pretty shit. When these motors down here spin, they cause your fingers to move, basically replicating the tendons you got in your hands. In theory, that works really well, but these motors are of a really poor quality, really cheap though, and the design could definitely use some work, which results in this thing only really working like 10% of the time. Ha ha ha, you think you're gonna grip that banana? Ah, uh, sigh? Here's my idea to get the robot hand to speak. What the robot hand says in response to what I say is going to be communicated by hand gestures that I'm going to classify and this big ass speaker. For example, if I say, you're my only friend hand, the hand should say, this is uh, definitely motors doing this movement at the moment. It will be motors, just trust me. What a loser, LOL. What did you just say to me? Don't forget who made you. <laughs> I did not mean to slap that so hard, I'm pretty sure I just broke this thing. So we've got a new prototype that we can chuck our finger into. And I've forgotten about the elastic follow through holes. We've also got some new motors, but they're not quite the right shape at the moment. Ah, perfect. I 3 printed this so we can actually see what's going on internally with finger movement. The spinning motor drags the pulley, which then drags the finger. Although this time we're getting way more consistent movement because the design is way better, if I do say so myself. Now any thinking robot needs to know where, who, and what they are. Okay, mainly just the first one. Once robots start doing the other two, we are screwed as a species. We're gonna use bang bang control to get our where. And yes, that is literally the technical name. Look at this technical ass research paper. Ooh, kinematics and long ass derivations and fucking bang bang. What? When our motor spins, eventually we hit the palm. That is our first bang. And then when we get to the top of the rotation, that's our second bang. So I guess the finger just kind of bangs between those two. Is this seriously the right terminology? But Robotkiss, you ask, what even is a fucking bang? Well, it's the current draw of the motor. To flip the motor direction, we flip the polarity of the motor in software. Now, officially, because of that, to get current sensing working, you need an op amp, but that's loads of additional circuitry, and this is what the ugly ass circuits tend to look like. So, nah, I'ma do it my way with this abomination. We've got a red wire going into the motor where the current we want to measure goes, and a white analog wire, this one here, that goes straight into the Arduino that is measuring the current across that resistor because V equals IR. Bleh. But Robotkiss, doesn't that mean one direction is gonna read the complete wrong edge of the voltage scale? Of course you're asking that question, and you're right. But I'll just ignore it, sorta. I did do this line in software though. Bang Bang's given us our upward and lower limit, but how do we know where we actually are between those limits? That's the neat part. Blah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> ignore that idiot. It's been like four days, but turns out if you want to be able to make a gesture between those two spaces like we're gonna need to be able to do, then you need to actually know where in the rotation we actually are. A smart, financially secure person would probably buy more sensors to do this. No, 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 no. My video, my rules. I've made this kinematic model that describes how our finger moves from a planar perspective. Each line represents one of the finger joints, so let's put those on and move it. When the motor moves, pulling the finger in, this current reading goes up because of increased tension. Anyone remember high school maths? I sure fucking don't. But I do have Wolfram Alpha and a lot of patience, so we can form this quadratic. That when rearranged can relate the angle value to the current value giving us position. Which means I can do this. I've told my finger to go to 25 degrees and it does it, and it does it really consistently too. For example, that was about 30 seconds and it's still finding its position really damn well. One, two, three, four. Oh wow, look how sexy and clean and non-wiry it looks. Oh, Electrically insulated, you know, debatable. But, I plug it in, and... Boom. 
That is control, baby. Positional control. 10 days, 10 days. Now we just need to get our thumb in and we can start making our gestures. What was that? All right, what's going on out here? <gasps> it's here. 137 machined metal middle finger. But I'm a broke university student, so I didn't pay for it. PCB would. PCB way paid for it. See this middle finger here? It's plastic. It's pathetic. It's made on my 3D printer. This, this is metal, aluminium to be exact, and it's CNC milled by PCB way. We have these thread holes up here, and I was really worried the CNC milling process wouldn't be accurate enough to allow for the screwing process, but I can happily say that is not the case, and it's because of the quality of the work done. If you're making your own robots that need CNC milling, 3D printing, or get this, PCBs, head over to PCB way. They do it well. Whoa, why'd the quality of the camera just drop? It was already bad enough watching this TV static. Firstly, shut up. Secondly, this isn't real life. This is my webcam. And this here is a classification model I made for distinguishing the gesture you're making to American Sign Language. It works really well for a human hand because that's what I train the data on. Does it work well for a robotic hand? Hey, disconnected. Eh, come on, come on, <laughs> come on. Stop, stop triggering, trigger. No, this would make my AI job really easy if this worked. No. But hear me out, I think this is how we get our robotic hand to talk. This script then records those words and saves them up as big strings. And then when you've got that word, you throw it to this big ass speaker. Capiche? I promise, I'm not a madman, I'm just lonely. Okay, two days later and I've worked out, the classification model is being a bitch. I've made my own model for this hand. When I pass these to the classification system, it should be detecting the landmarks on the hand like this. But it's not, even when I'm making the model super sensitive to digit detection. Why? Well, the software disagrees that this looks enough like a human hand to even classify. I might be a little bit biased, this thing's like my baby at this point, but I designed it after my own hand. I think it looks pretty alike. Anyway, we need a different method. Should be easy enough, right? Wrong, but now you're ready with me to see his very first words. Let's go. What? Um. Alive. Why am I alive? Okay, bit of an existential crisis. You're, you're, you're happy, aren't you? You're, you're happy. You're happy. You may notice there's like a slight calibration sequence with whenever we get back to a resting gesture, i.e. between the words. Uh, mechanically, that's not actually necessarily needed to be there, but I'm a bit of a donkey when it comes what? to software. So basically what I've done is I've got this switch casement which is going between each interval. That allows the hand to talk. Death. Why are you so depressed? Wow. <laughs> I will end you. The way this is then speaking is it's a timing thing. So basically what we've got is this Python script running in the background. Now, the idea is that the hand is is, is a happy little thing, but uh, I don't I don't know Me. why. But <laughs> Ah, oh, such a joker. It's such a joker. Anyways, that's the uh, that's that's the video. That's the premise. It was it was it was pretty stupid. Um, if you enjoyed, please. maybe maybe subscribe. <laughs> oh, what a joker! Help me, please. Help me for what? I don't I don't do anything. I don't I don't do anything that would um that would that would make this scared. Or please. Any. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up.